close your eyes and focus on your breath. When the breath comes in, know that it's coming in. When it goes out, know that it's going out. That's all you have to know. As for any other thoughts that may come through the mind right now, just let them go. Let them pass by. You don't have to chase them away, and you don't have to pull them in. They're going to be there, but you're going to be right here with your breath. The mind needs a place to settle down like that if it's going to have any well-being at all. We're going to have a lot of activities today for the ordination, and the trip there, and the trip back. So it's good to have a good, solid center inside so your mind doesn't get frazzled by all the activity. And you keep in mind what this is all about. We're all here for the purpose of training the mind. We're celebrating the fact that one among us has decided to devote his life to this as his central concern. And that's, a, that's something worthy of celebration. There are very few people who think this way. But in a, it's an example for all of us, that whether we devote our lives this way or not, it's an important skill that everyone should master is how to train your mind so that it doesn't become its own enemy, doesn't become a traitor to its own desires for happiness. You can make up your mind you want to do something good, and all of a sudden you find yourself off doing something else. Or there's something you want to avoid, it's a bad habit you have, and you make up your mind you're never going to do it again, and the next day you find yourself back at it again. That's when the mind is a traitor. And so we have to learn how to straighten things out inside. And the first step is just to get everything calmed down a bit. So you can have a sense of your awareness right here. So if the thoughts come up, the intentions come up, whatever comes up right now, you can see what's coming. You don't have to wait until it's overcome you. It's like seeing far down the road. If something bad is coming, you know to get out of the way. You don't just sit in the road and let things run over you. You stand to the side and watch. If something really big is coming down the road looks dangerous, you get away from the road. If something good is coming along, okay, then you can encourage it. But you have to be right here if you're going to see these things. If you're thinking, thinking about something else, all of these functions in the mind, you know, the intentions coming up and the decision as to whether or not to follow them, those get put on automatic pilot. And we can't really trust our default settings, because a lot of them got set when we were pretty ignorant. So we want to reset things. So get the mind to settle down right here. Whatever comes, whatever goes, you stay right here. This way the, all the activities of the world can come through, but they don't have to leave any traces. They don't have to leave any marks. And if there's something good that you can encourage, you encourage it. If there's something you want to put an end to, you can put an end to it, because you're in a much better position to handle these things. So try to develop the skill of being mindful to stay with the breath and being alert to make sure that you really are here. And then you can add a little bit of your own discernment to figure out what kind of breathing feels good, because the more nourishing the breathing feels for the body, the more likely you're going to, going to, you're going to be wanted to stay. So stay right here and develop these qualities of mind, because they'll help you in all kinds of circumstances. Whether you're sitting here with your eyes closed or you're out dealing with other people, when you're home, when you're in a hospital, wherever you might be. You find that these qualities are really helpful for making sure that the mind doesn't turn traitor, and that it actually thinks and acts and speaks in ways that are conducive to happiness. <laughs>